if you want to do generative AI on Google Cloud, you need to know Vertex AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with Vertex AI. First thing you need to do is to log into your Google account and then with your Gmail account or whatever account you use and then create a project there because everything in Google Cloud resides in a project. Once you have created your project, which is very simple, you can either use CLI by using G Cloud uh, CLI uh, command or you can use from console. Once you have done it within your project, simply run this command G Cloud Services Enable AI Platform dot Google APIs dot com. This will enable the Vertex AI API in your project. Remember that in Google Cloud, everything is an API. And if you want to use any service, first thing you need to do is to enable the API for that service. You can do the same from console. Second thing you need to do is to make sure that you ha have your service account created. Service account lets you access other services in Google Cloud. So I'm creating this SA Infra service account in my project. Third thing we need to do is to make sure that this service account can run this AI platform, which is another name for Vertex AI. And to do that, the command is gcloud projects add IAM policy binding. This is our project ID. So when you would create your project, you will get an ID. So this is my project ID, replace it with yours. And then also mention your service account. So what this command is doing, this is binding this service account with this project. And you would need to replace your project ID here and your service account name at the rate, your project ID here. And then we are assigning it this role, which is a platform.admin, so that this role would allow this service account to do every admin process or privilege on this Vertex AI. So these are the things you need. Fourth thing you need to make sure is that you, the project you are working in in Google Cloud is linked to your billing account. Okay, so that those are all the things you need to do in your project. Now, as a next step, what you need to do is to log into your Google account and then in your Google account, go to your service account, which is this in your service account. And if you don't know how to access it on the left hand side, go to IEM and admin and then select service account and then click on your service account and you'll be presented with this screen. Here you can see that this is a service account I already have, as say Infra, and my project ID is this. Select the key step, click on add key, create new key, and then select JSON. Once you select it, click on create, and then it will allow you to download this JSON file. And you will only be able to see it only one time, so make sure you download it. Once you download it, you can you are ready to use Vertex AI. Now for this demo, I'll be using Google Colab. You can use any Linux instance or even Windows instance or even AWS SageMaker Notebook instance in order to use Vertex AI with the help of this service account, SA Infra. This is my Google Colab. I already have uploaded that JSON file which contains my service account key here. And this is the whole name. Let me show you the whole name. So this is a JSON file. Okay, now let me show you how you can use Vertex AI. The first thing we need to do is to import some of the libraries. And these are the libraries I'm going to use. And don't worry about the commands. I will drop all the commands I'm using in my blog. And I will drop the link to that blog in video's description. Let me run it. So this is going to import some of the libraries. That's done. Now let me set my key path. So I have just uploaded it here. So this is the file name where my key is. I have stored it in this variable key underscore path. In the third step, I am going to authenticate myself with my Google Cloud project. So here I'm just mentioning its scope, giving it key path, and this is the command I need to use. Play it, and I am authenticated. Good. And then I'm also going to give it this command to make sure that if it expires, it will auto refresh. 
cool okay in the next step let me also specify my project id and my region you can change it accordingly in whichever google cloud region you are or whatever your project id is nice in the next step i am going to install some of the required libraries and this is the command i'm going to use pip install google cloud a platform and make sure that you use this shapely less than two version because that is what is compatible with vertex a otherwise you'll get an error let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long that's done now in the next step first i am importing vertex a then i'm initializing vertex a with my project id region and credentials and then i am importing this text generation model okay maybe i will put it in the next line so that it will be easier to read let's run it that's done now let's you specify our large language model so first i am importing this text generation model library and then i am specifying my model for this example i am using this small model text bison to make this demo quick that's done and let this let us give us a prompt and access this model with that prompt now what I'm saying here is that this is a prompt I'm using and you can ask any question you want. So I'm just asking it that I want to self-manage a bathroom renovation project in my home. Please suggest me step-by-step -step plan to carry out this project. And then I'm asking this LLM to predict the next word or give me the answer. So let's run it. And this is what I love about Google's Vertex A that it is very fast. So you can see that within split second, it has given me the whole plan which I asked it for. I'm not going into the detail of how accurate or how useful this is, which we can always fine tune or even use a better model. But you can see that these are few of the steps where you can use Vertex A in very simple way and start building your own software. We can even use any chat model to build a chatbot, or we can simply use our fine tuning or rag with it. In the subsequent videos, I'll be also showing you how you can chat with it and how you can use other models. I hope that you enjoyed it and make sure once you are done, go back to your Google Cloud and clean up your project so that you are not charged for it. And if you don't have access to Google Cloud, go to um, Google Cloud, just type Google Cloud in Google and then log in, or sign up with your Gmail account, which is a free account, and you will get $300 credit. So that's it. I hope that you liked it. If you have any questions or any confusion, please ask them in the comment. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.